Hello and welcome to another episode of Jimster 586's Lock Shop. Today I want to do something a little different for you. Decided to do a little special, if you will, on interchangeable core locks. Now we've all dealt with, let me grab my example here, we've all seen best locks. You know, I've done best locks, Diesel Ducey's done best locks on the uh, on YouTube like this. There's the logo there. And actually, Diesel Ducey, I think, has the same exact padlock. Um, we've all done a special, or all shown how these worked. Oopsie, because I dropped it on the floor. Here's your authentic. Bring that up so the camera can focus on it. There it goes best key with the scarecrow tactic. It is not unlawful to duplicate this key. It was just a trick on best part. So here we have a lock. Now if you use the regular operating key, turn it, the padlock opens. Simple enough. I'm not really showing you the features of the padlock. I'm more concentrating on the core itself. So let's use the control key which in this case is marked C for control. It even says best here on the back. So let's pull the core by turning it 15 degrees. Out it comes. If you look down in there, you can see the two throw members, or fingers, if you will, that made up with these two slots right here on the back of the lock. Simple enough. This is what's called a small format interchangeable core. There's your locking tab. This is this tab here is what holds it inside the padlock. Again, I did a demo of a cutaway best lock padlock. So this is just to give you an idea of some of the different types out there. So there's your best. Well, other companies make what they call large format interchangeable cores. So let's do one of those. Actually, I've got a few different types to show you. Let's do one by Corbin Russwin. We'll start with them. There's their, it looks just like a best, but it's a little bigger. So they call this a large format. Now the idea behind the large format, there's an authentic Corbin Russwin key for you. Uncut, which means this lock is zero bitted, has top pins only, no bottom pins because the key isn't cut. Your other Corbin Russ one. This one's just been cut in a couple of spots for the control key. The idea behind large format is to allow these different lock makers, see how easily that slides in and out because it's not cut. My hand out of the way. There you go. Locks open. Works just like a best does. But a best core wouldn't fit in this lock because it's not set up the same way. The idea behind the large format is that so these individual companies can keep their existing locking systems in place. Oop, just did a no-no. With Corbin Rust when padlocks, you have to leave the padlock unlocked when you change the core, or it'll jam up on you, as I've found out and had to manipulate it manually. Okay. There's your Corbin Rust when core with its removable throw member. That up close so you can see it. Has the two little fingers like a best. Looks a lot like a best. But it's not a best. We view inside here. You can see how this works. There's your locking tab. Opposite side. Doesn't really do anything on this side. You can just see it core moving back and forth. Again, there's your throw member, which you need for this particular padlock. Get that back on there. Again, this is an authentic Corbin Russ one. And we'll put it back in the lock and move on for you. Let's just give you an idea how these different ones, or how these are different from best. Now it gets more complicated. Let's see. 
Let's do a schlag for you. Now there it says schlag. Notice this looks a little different. The bottom here is larger than the top, so it's not quite the figure eight that we're used to. This just looks like a standard mortise cylinder. Not much to it, but you can see the core here sitting against the, the back of the mortise cylinder. These are Schlag Everest. C123 keyway. I don't know if the camera can see that or not. And let's open it up by using the regular key. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Thank you. Actually, I lied. This is the C145 keyway that I just got from eBay. I thought this was one of my older C123s. Sorry about that. So it works easy enough. Works like a regular mortise cylinder. Well, let's pull it by using the key that says control. Out it comes. There you can see that how that's set up. And it mates very nicely with the back of the uh, the core here. Kind of a cheesy looking arrangement. This little pin here is the only thing that's holding the core in, in place. Without the key, of course, it's not going to go all the way back in. But that's all that's to this. If there was a way to defeat this, your core would pop right out. So not real sophisticated on Schlag's part. And I'm getting high on time here, so this may be a two-part video. There's that. Now, I'm going to try and see if the camera can see this. The only difference between a regular key and a control key is the control key is a little bit longer. That's the only difference. Focus. There we go. As you can see, they're cut the same. It's just the control key is a little bit longer, and that's what activates the, the locking tab. This is on a standard large format schlag. Not to be confused with a small format schlag, which operates just like a best. But this is a large format, so let's put this back in. Oops. And there you have it. There's one schlag large format, interchangeable core, with keys. Oops, I got something on my nail Sorry about that. And as I say, these are Everest, so they do have that second little sidebar piece here. I do have a Schlag Primus that's supposed to be on its way to me. We've done the Schlag, we've done the best, we've done the Corbin Russ one. Well, let's do a Yale. Yale's a nice cheap setup. I don't have anything to put this in, so it's just the core. There you are, Yale using the standard paracentric keyway that you could have made at any store, Walmart, whatnot. Let's show you how this works. Regular key. See it turning the, the plug here. Like I said, I don't have a lot to show on this because I don't have a housing to put it in. Now here is your control key. Somebody custom made this. They cut it back to here to make this key longer. Plus, it's also pinned differently, which is a little different. This is not a, an authentic control key. Somebody actually milled this down so it would work. Goes in the standard way. And it just works this little tab right here on the back. It's like a schlag. And this is all that's holding your, the core in place, is this. Not real sophisticated, and I'm about 9 minutes, 30 seconds here, so I'm going to finish this core up, and I've got a medical core for you, and that's going to be in part 2. So, not a not lot, a lot here at all. Again, that's a, a Yale large format interchangeable core, and to beat the 10 minute mark, I'm going to cut it off here, and I'll come back with part 2. So... Stay tuned.